first need to continue what we've been doing uh, related to our innovation agenda. We've been publishing uh, strategic research agendas and uh, initiatives along three axes. I think those, those axes are still relevant, whether they are material, uh, advanced materials, uh, white uh, biotechs, or uh, efficient manufacturing and processes. Uh, we need to continue to update uh, those agendas, uh, those research initiatives as uh, we progress uh, and uh, the industry is making progresses. Second, uh, I think we need to work on uh, accelerating the adoption of innovation along the value chain. There is uh, tremendous barriers for uh, innovation adoption by our customers, by the industry, and we need to identify those barriers and work with our customers, with our partners, to accelerate the adoption of innovation uh, in, by the industry, by our customers. Third, I believe that we need to better communicate uh, innovation to the public, being more transparent, uh, so that uh, people understand what we are doing uh, and are supporting uh, innovation by uh, chemistry uh, uh, industry. And to do that, I believe that we need to promote the adoption of life cycle analysis approach as a universal criteria measuring the benefits of innovation uh, and adoption of new technologies by our customers. It's very impressive, you know, how uh, we've progressed in the last uh, few years. Uh, we started as uh, uh, European initiatives and now we have uh, national platforms in uh, several countries working with the same vision and the vision we've uh, initially promoted. Uh, defining the fact that uh, chemistry is sustainable and can contribute to the societal challenges that uh, Europe is facing uh, is uh, well recognized by everyone today. Uh, we need to continue uh, to promote uh, the ID, but what is important now as uh, achieving uh, the innovation union, the innovation network, is to work uh, probably with other platforms uh, for them to better understand how chemistry can contribute to their own innovation agenda so that we multiply the uh, potential users and customers for uh, uh, our solutions. Also, we need to probably work with uh, uh, politicians, uh, with uh, authorities, so that they continue to perceive the change in the chemical industry, uh, chemical industry not being any more a problem, but being part of the solution to uh, the uh, challenges that Europe is currently facing. Now what we need to do is to uh, probably enhance the network with the other platforms uh, so that they perceive the innovation from the chemical industry as innovation that they can adopt in their own uh, research program. I think the, the first thing is uh, to, to, to be able to lead a program on our own. Uh, I think that we've discussed about the difficulty of uh, adoption of innovation across the value chain. Uh, one thing that we can do is by uh, promoting innovation ourselves would be probably more efficient in uh, having uh, downstream industries to realize what we can do for them. Uh, we are in the, the process of proposing a new initiative about resource efficient economy uh, where the uh, chemical industry would be the leader of that initiative. And it would be a leader because ourselves, we are an industry where we could be more resource efficient, whether it's about energy, raw materials, water, uh, but also we, uh, and more importantly probably, we can make our industry downstream being more efficient. Uh, and we have the enabling technologies to help them to uh, solve their current problems. The uh, second one is uh, probably to enlarge the panel of people who contribute to SUSCAN. We have already a very large number of engaged people uh, in the different working group uh, at the European level or at the national level. We need to continue to have that uh, 
crowd of engaged people, which we need also to have a new generation coming in, contributing to our programs. And that's a thing that we need to, to work on, is to mobilize a younger generation towards our, our goals.